Well, being a mayor, uh, you know, first and foremost, in my view, is, uh, is building confidence in our, our community that we can achieve uh, what we set out to achieve. And working with uh, our federal and provincial governments and colleges and universities to partner up on uh, realizing the objectives that our city has set out in terms of its economic growth and prosperity. So I, I'm, uh, I'm delighted to be the mayor. I'm, uh, I'm honored, uh, thrilled, uh, happy to be back and, and uh, you know, really looking forward to, I think, a, an up curve that the city of Hamilton is clearly on today that uh, really speaks to uh, the good work that all of those partners are doing to get us where we need to go. Well, Fred and I were actually at Mohawk College at the same time. We didn't know it at the time, and I think Fred was just a little bit older than me. Um, but it wouldn't be until about a decade and a half later that we actually met. And by that time, our careers, which really uh, were launched at Mohawk College, had taken us in our different paths. He was a Ward 5 Alderman in Hamilton. I was a news reporter and anchor at CH. So I would cover City Hall. I would have opportunity to interview Fred about different issues in the city. He never struck me as an overly flamboyant or, or a flashy character, but someone who really cared about the job he was doing. So first and foremost, it's about uh, tenor and leadership. And Fred has, has, I think, calmed the political waters in that he's logical and methodical. Uh, his vision around the, the waterfront and the reconnection of people to uh, our greatest natural asset, I think, has, uh, both during his tenure at the Port Authority and his mayor, uh, will leave a lasting legacy. Fred is a diplomat. Uh, he's a statesman. It's one of the two of the qualities I admire about him. He believes in cohesion and united teams working together. I saw it in his uh, election campaign. Um, he has been fighting for many years to bring integrity uh, mainstream into local politics. I think anybody that's been around him in political office or in community life knows that at the end of the day he's driven by what's the right thing for Hamilton and even in the hardest most controversial issues he will land in a place that uh, I think will, will do justice to this community and I think that's the highest tribute you can play, pay to an elected official. Well, giving back to the community is, uh, for me, has always been a, a primary issue because you get good value out of that. What you give, uh, you give, you get back in return in, in, in at many different levels. Uh, not only because of the relationships you build, which is about the networking that we all need to do. So, giving back, I think, is uh, fundamentally part of uh, not only the learning experience, but uh, the opportunity to actually participate in your community, whether it's on the neighborhood level, uh, whether it's in the city level or the provincial level, all of that is the kind of sharing that we need all of our citizens to do.